Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Q, and today we're gonna be doing the Arisa Tip remake video with none other than Ace of Spades. But first, are you a young but serious competitive Overwatch player? Are you tired of the Overwatch ranked experience and looking for a more organized club and community? Well, look no further than Esports Tower, who are kindly sponsoring this video, which is a community to help serious players like you to improve on a week by week basis through coaching, tutorials, industry networking, and this is with other pros, GMs, collegiate coaches, and recruiters. After joining the club, you'll be paired with serious teammates of similar skill and receive a team coach. From there, you'll practice twice a week to prepare for weekly competitive events. And it's just like, if you joined the basketball sports club at your school, except it's Overwatch and eSports. These coaches will correct mistakes through VOD reviews and teach you the foundations of teamwork, communication, and leadership, which are all things you don't get in ranked. It's the perfect opportunity to experience organized tournaments, exclusive events, and work your way towards scholarships, collegiate opportunities, and maybe one day the Overwatch League. Go to esportstower.com slash carq for a free two-week trial. Link in the description. Hey, my name is Ace of Spades. I'm a former Contenders player, now full-time content creator, and this is how to become a demon on the Arisa. Ace of Spades just won me six. Are you kidding me? Oh man. So let's start off with a general tip. The general playstyle for Arisa is to play distance and poke them out as much as you can before taking a fight, while comboing abilities with your halt every time you use it. it. Sounds obvious, but I review a lot of Arisa gameplay, and you'd be surprised at the amount of players who just toss it out to slow enemies down at the choke making it more of like a minor inconvenience rather than an impactful ability. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Be on the lookout for when Divi uses Matrix so you can use your pull or it will get eaten. Look for pulls above her head to force her to look up. If you use it at eye level or go for a low pull, it's much more likely that she'll eat it along with any other spam damage from your team. Against another battle paddle, you want to try and force their fortify first before pushing up or you'll do peanuts for damage. You can also wait for them to place a the shield, then put yours a little past theirs and push up, negating their shield, forcing her to use Fortify. Be careful when doing this, since your healers won't be able to heal you unless their shield breaks behind you. Reinhardt needs to get in close to be effective, so you can go for high pulls into the air to buy more time for your team to break his shield before that happens. You can also use this to stall his charge to give your team more time to either CC him or kill him, especially if he has someone pinned. You also want to try and save your fortify since you can use this to stop his charge completely. Just don't use it if he already has to one of your teammates pinned because the blood's on your hands now. Actual murder. Fortify against whole hog is dangerous despite the damage reduction. So if you see him start to whole hog, take some damage to fly backwards before using fortify to use his knockback against him by keeping distance and taking less damage. Outside of that, you have to be careful of the hook cooldown and reactively fortify if you're caught away from your shield. Like Diva, you have to be wary of Sigma's kinetic grasp. The range isn't as far, so I like to toss it a little bit higher and you can detonate before he's able to eat it. If you know he has flux, make sure to save your fortify till after you use it to negate all the damage. As a bonus, you can use his flux to get high ground by hitting fortify at the top and use his momentum to carry you up to higher high ground. Against Winston, make sure you're poking him out as much as possible before he's engaged to force his bubble or jump cooldown when he doesn't want to use it. Another trick is to pull when you think he's about to jump so you can cancel it in mid-air and then he's just a sitting duck. If he bubbles aggressively and tries to bubble dance, you can quickly ground pull him back in and get a ton of juicy headshots in. When ball is rolling and trolling, the best way to stop him is to use your halt on his rollout to stop his momentum, making it easy for your teammates to combo stun him. Be aware when he's setting up his rollout and use fortify so you don't get knocked into his team if you're on high ground. Against Zarya, you can either use your halt to force her bubble, then kill her, if she uses it before a fight, you can halt her and pull her towards your team for an easy elim. Same with Flux. If you know she has grav, try and save your fortify so you can get out of it scotch-free. Against Ash, if you see dynamite being thrown, you can walk in front of your shield to block it, since most likely she'll detonate it from behind you. Using fortify, you can stop Bob in his tracks and make quick work of him from behind a shield. Against Bastion, you have to be careful of your positioning and really take advantage of corners so you don't get caught out with your bolts out. When you go to engage Bastion after he approaches a corner, throw a shield to block his heals from behind him and hit that fortify and show him who has the better Gatling gun. Without heals, you should be able to kill him. Using fortify is really effective to stop doom punches from killing your teammates. Additionally, try using your halt after he uses uppercut to stop his upwards momentum and have your team focus him. Shooting flying heroes is pretty tough as a projectile hero. So the best thing you can do is use your halt after you see Echo use her flight ability so it holds her in place for half a second so you and your DPS can shoot her. If she successfully connects on her sticky bombs, your Arisa being half health or her focusing beam 
This is when it's important to reactively fortify and shield dance as best as you can. Against the Genji, be careful as deflect since he can use it against your halt. I like to activate the halt on the ground beside him so it pulls him closer while avoiding the deflect, setting up an easy stun combo with one of your other teammates. You can also use his halt to mess up his Dragon Blade when he goes for one of your supports. Hanzo has a dash escape, so when halting him, throw your halt a little closer to his expected escape route so you, he can't dash out of the range of it, forcing you to get caught in it for an easy kill or push up closer to your teammates, hopefully getting punished. Junk is a pretty big counter to Orisa since he destroys your shield pretty fast, so play corners as much as possible to minimize the damage taken after your shield breaks. You can use your Fortify to counter his tire if you see it coming at you as well. When going against the Cowboy, timing your Fortify against his stun is going to save you from being fan the hammered. You can win the 1v1 up close because you can shield dance and ground pull him back to the opposite side of your shield. Against the Mei, your Fortify negates her freeze, so use it when she ults you or has held freeze on you for a second. Be careful of your positioning though, because she will look to wall you off from the rest of your team. Pop Fortify, put a shield down if you have it, and break one of the pillars right behind you while screaming at your team. Fires are tricky since she's always high in the sky. Call out your halt and try to predict where she's going to fly so your DPS can delete her from the sky. Other than that, it's not your job to deal with her. Against Reaper, you really have to use your cooldowns wisely. When he's pushing up to you, throw one of your halts up and behind him while shooting to force his wraith early, then you can use Fortify and Shield Dance as he tries to shoot you and hopefully block some of the damage. Against Death Blossom, you can just Fortify, walk to his face, and barrage him with headshots. Soldiers will most likely be on high grounds or going on the flank, so be ready to halt him as he peeks to pull him off high grounds, or to combo abilities with your DPS if he's alone to take him out. Not much else to say about this matchup. When facing Sombra, you can fire your shield before her ult goes off to keep a shield up since it doesn't get deleted while it's still a projectile. It's a good idea to use Fortify when you see EMP coming to minimize the damage while hacked. Against Sim, make sure you're taking fights out of range of her beam so she does no damage. If she is in range, throw a halt at the ground and burst her down since she'll just charge up her beam from your shield and melt you. Against Torb, you want to use your range to your advantage and break their turret first before pushing into chokes if you can see it. This allows your DPS to run free in the backline. If you find yourself battling him, then use your halt to pull him back behind your shield for added protection. Chaser can just blink around you, so fire your halt at the ground since it detonates faster. If it connects, you have a high chance of forcing recall. If it's a 1v1, bunk her up in the corner with a shield and force her to come to you. Always be aware of Widow's positioning so you can place your shields to block those sightlines. Using her halt on her after she grapples up to a high ground gives your team a higher chance of taking her out. You should be looking to spam out her angles that she's trying to peek since they'll hit her before she's able to scope in and take a shot. Against Ana, use your halt to pull her out of position when she tries to heal her team to force her nade on herself rather than on you or your team. You can also throw your shield a little behind their tanks to cut off healing on their engagement. When going against a BAP, make sure you place your halt a little over his head so if he tries to jump away, you can just halt him back down. And if he doesn't jump, he's a free kill for your team or force lamp. Yeah, cool ability. If you see that ant matrix go up, just get the fuck out of there and go to natural cover. Neither your shield or fortify will save you. Against Brig, it's best to pull above her shield since it's difficult to block and she'll be forced to shield bash away, creating an opening for your team to kill her. Not much to do in this matchup, just wave if she's whacking you to death while you have fortify up. Lucio's a slippery one while riding all the time. A trick to catching him is to activate your halt a little farther away from the wall so he falls down instead of catching the wall again and being able to zoom off. Halting in the air when he tries to beat can also give your team more time to be able to stun him. Always position as far back as you can from environmental death spots. If you see him rolling in, use that fortify to stop the boop. Against Mercy, she can be a pain when she's flying around kiting everyone. When you see her mid-flight, try and pull her so she can't fly again for a short time and punish her. If she's on top of a dead teammate rezzing, your halt won't pull her out of range, so don't waste your cooldown trying it unless she's going for a max range res. When facing Amora, she does have her fade, but using your halt to force that cooldown is huge since you can then take an engagement or send your DPS on her for an easy kill afterwards. If she's using coalescence, do not put supercharger down since she can easily pierce it through your shield and break it. Zinyana is an easy kill since he has no escapes, so use your halt to pull him up in the air and track him as he falls down or pull him down towards you for easy headshots. You can also use your shield to cut LOS of Transcendence if they push up with it. Be careful when discorded and play behind cover since you'll take tons of damage once your shield goes down. That's all, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, thanks for having me. Check me out on Twitch and YouTube at AceSpadesOW.